March World Kidney Day March International Day of Women Judge March CISF Raising Day March International Day of Mathematics OPI Day Observed Globally March International Day of Action for Rivers The theme of 2023 is rights of rivers March International Day to Combat Islamophobia 2023 March 15 World Consumer Rights Day Observed Theme Empowering Consumers through clean energy transition. National affairs. India's bullet train to run by August 2026. Railway minister, according to Railways and Telecom Minister Ashwini Vaishnav, the first bullet train in India will begin service in August 2026. The Indian Railways is building the country's first bullet train from Ahmedabad, Gujarat to Mumbai. Maharashtra over 508 km route CCI clears reliances 2850 CR by of metro's local business competition commission of india said that it has cleared reliance industries ltd sars 2850 crore acquisition of the indian business of german retailer metro ag the deal announced nearly 3 months ago will help reliance strengthen its wholesale format and cement its position as the biggest player in india's burgeoning retail industry with stores spanning electronics groceries and fashion india to host sco tourism ministers meet in varanasi on march ke 17 se 18 india will host the shanghai cooperation organization sco tourism ministers meeting on march ke 17 se 18 in kashi varanasi Uttar Pradesh Varanasi has been designated as the first cultural capital of the SCO Government removes upper age limit to receive diseased donor organs The government has removed the upper age limit of 65 years for eligibility for registration to receive diseased donor organs Now a person of any age can register for receiving diseased donor organs First meeting of Supreme Audit Institution SAI 20 begins The first Supreme Audit Institution 20 SAI 20 senior officers meeting so began on 13th March 2023 in Guwahati Assam The themes of this meeting are blue economy and responsible artificial intelligence The SAI 20 meeting will be chaired by the controller and auditor general of India Girish Chandra Murmu and also attended by senior representatives of equivalent institutions from G20 countries. PM Modi inaugurates world's longest railway platform in Hubballi, Karnataka. Prime Minister Narendra Modi dedicated the world's longest railway platform of 1.5 kilometers, 1507 meters at the Sri Siddharudaswami railway station in Hubballi, Karnataka state. This longest platform of Hubballi located in the South Western Railway zone has been recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records. The Gorakhpur platform in Uttar Pradesh is the second longest at 1366.33 meters and the Kollam junction in Kerala has the third longest platform at 1180.5 meters. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also inaugurated the 118 kilometers long Bangalore Mysore Expressway. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also dedicated the new campus of IIT Dharwad. He also laid the foundation stone of IIT Dharwad in February 2019. Central government launches high price day ahead market and surplus power portal. Push. A high price day ahead market and surplus power portal. Push. has been launched by the central government it is an initiative to ensure greater availability of power during the peak demand season the portal was launched by the union power minister shri rk singh at a virtual function in new delhi lok sabha speaker om birla will represent india in the interparliamentary union to be held in bahrain Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla arrived in Bahrain's capital Manama to attend the 146th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union (IPU). The meeting of IPU will be organized in Manama, Bahrain from 11 to 15 March. 
IPU is an international association of different national parliaments of the world. It was established in the year 1889 in Paris. It was founded by Frederick Parsi of France and William Randall Kramer of the United Kingdom. Headquarters, Geneva, Switzerland. Its members are 189 countries. Swachotsav, a three-week women-led Swachhata campaign launched by Mohuya. In the run-up to the Women's Day on 8 March, Union Minister Srihardeep Singh Puri launched Swachotsav, three-week women-led Swachhata campaign. Under the Swach Bharat Mission Urban 2.0, the campaign aims to recognize and celebrate the transition from women in sanitation to women lit sanitation. At the launch, the first edition of Women Icons Leading Sanitation Waste Management, WINS Challenge 2023 was announced. The WINS Challenge 2023 will recognize high-impact women entrepreneurs or women led enterprises working to achieve urban swachhata. The nominations for the WINS Awards 2023 will begin at 8 March onwards. The Swachhata Yatra will kick off on 10 8 March and will conclude on 30 8 March, which has been declared as International Day of Zero Waste by the United Nations General Assembly. NSDC engages ISB as knowledge partner for GB's education working group The Indian School of Business, ISB, is collaborating with the National Skill Development Corporation, NSDC, under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, MSD, as a knowledge partner for the GB's Education Working Group, AWG. 23rd Commonwealth Law Conference begins in Goa. The Tais RD Commonwealth Law Conference was inaugurated by Goa Governor P.S. Sridharan Pillai. The five day conference, which is being held from March 2023, was also attended by Union Minister for Law and Justice Kiran Rijiju and Chief Minister of Goa Dia. Pramod Savant India to form International Big Cat Alliance, IBCA, for Big Cats India will set up an international coalition for the protection of big cats under her leadership and India has assured support over a period of five years with guaranteed funding of 800 US dollar million, over 800 rupee crore. Mop mandates 40% RPO for new coal lignite-based thermal plants. The Ministry of Power, Mop has mandated that new coal lignite-based thermal plants either establish renewable energy capacity equivalent to at least 40% of the plant's capacity or procure that much green energy under a renewable purchase obligation, RPO. According to the Tariff Policy 2016, it has been agreed that any generating company establishing a coal lignite-based thermal generating station with the commercial operation date, COD, of the project on or after 1st April 2023, must develop renewable energy generating capacity in megawatts, megawatt, as per the following condition. A coal lignite based thermal generating station with a cord of the project between 8 April 2023 and 31 March 2025 must meet the RGO of 40% by 8 April 2025. This is significant in light of India's ambitious objective of 500 megawatt of renewable energy generation by 2030. Indian Railways to launch Bharat Gaurav train from Mumbai to Madurai Indian Railways is going to run the Bharat Gaurav train from Mumbai to Renigunta and back from 9th March 2023. Bharat Gaurav Tourist Train is in line with the Government of India initiative Dekhop Nadesh to promote domestic tourism. First meeting of India-Central Asia Joint Working Group on Afghanistan held in New Delhi. The first meeting of the India-Central Asia Joint Working Group, JWG, on Afghanistan was held in New Delhi. The meeting was attended by special envoys and senior officials from India, Kazakhstan, KYRGYZ Republic, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. During this meeting India will send its next consignment of wheat as aid to Afghanistan under Taliban rule through Chabhar port.
Central government issued notification to give 10% reservation to exagnivers in BSF recruitment. The central government has announced 10% reservation for exagnivers in border security force BSF recruitment. These revised rules state that exagnivers will be exempted from the physical efficiency test. The government has also announced that the upper age limit will be relaxed by five years. The central government has unveiled the Agnipat scheme in June 2022 for the recruitment of new soldiers in all the three military services, Army, Navy and Air Force. This scheme will give an opportunity to the youth to serve in the armed forces for a period of four years. These youths joining the Army will be called Agnivia. After four years of service, only 25% of the soldiers of a batch will be re-employed in the respective services for a period of 15 years. Youth in the age group of 17.5 years to 23 years will be eligible to apply for the selection. Benefits provided to Agnivias On completion of four years of service period, he will be paid a lump sum sevanidhi of 11 rupees 71 paise lakh, including accrued interest. He will also get a life insurance cover of Artalis Rupai Lakh for a period of four years. In the event of his martyrdom, the family will be paid 8 rupiah crore, including the salary for the rest of the term. The Union Minister for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises launched the MSME Competitive, Lean, Scheme. The scheme is a business initiative to reduce waste in manufacturing. It provides for building awareness of lean manufacturing practices in MSME clusters as well as cost sharing of consultants' fees with MSME units who opt for such interventions. Under the scheme, the center's contribution will be 90% of the implementation cost for handholding and consultancy fees as against 80% previously. Nodal Agency, National Productivity Council, NPC Eligibility, the scheme is open to micro, small or medium as per the definition of the MSME Act. The Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Act, 2006. Central Railways achieves 100% electrification of broad gauge. The Mumbai headquartered Central Railway, CR has achieved a significant milestone with 100% electrification of the entire broad gauge network. The CR has completed the electrification of all broad gauge routes, running 3,825 route kilometer. The last non-electrified section of the CR was the Osalatur Road, 52 route kilometers, part of the Solapur Division, which was electrified on 23rd February 2023. Center to Reconsider Safe Harbor Clause in IT Law The Union Government formally outlined the Digital India Act, 2023 which is a broad overhaul of the decades-old Information Technology Act, 2000. The Government is reconsidering a key aspect of cyberspace, Safe Harbor, which is the principle that so-called intermediaries on the Internet are not responsible for what third parties post on their website. This is the principle that allows social media platforms to avoid liability for posts made by users. International Affairs South Korea, US hold largest military exercises in five years. South Korea and the United States kicked off their largest joint military exercises in five years on 13 March 2023. The A South Korea exercises, called Freedom Shield, are scheduled to run for at least 10 days from 13th March and will focus on the changing security environment AUKUS Pact, US and UK to provide nuclear-powered submarines for Australia. The United States, Australia, and Britain have announced the plan of providing Australia with nuclear-powered attack submarines. In the late 2030s, the UK will receive delivery of its first submarine, and Australia would take it in the early 2040s. AUKUS Pact 
It is a trilateral security pact between Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States, announced on 15 September 2021 for the Indo-Pacific region. Under the pact, the US the UK will assist Australia in acquiring nuclear-powered submarines. Denmark becomes the first country in the world to import CO2 and store it under the sea. Denmark has inaugurated a project to store carbon dioxide 1,800 meters beneath the North Sea, becoming the first country in the world to bury CO2 imported from abroad. Led by British chemical giant Ineos and German oil company Winterscholdia. The Green Sun project plans to store 8 million tons of CO2 per year by 2030. Indonesia's Mount Merapi Volcano Erupts Indonesia's Mount Merapi Volcano, one of the world's most active volcanoes, erupted on March, sending a cloud of hot ash and a mixture of rock, lava and gas that engulfed seven nearby villages. The volcano is located on the island of Java near Yogyakarta, the cultural capital of Indonesia. WHO Global Report on Sodium Intake Reduction Countries must make massive efforts to reduce salt intake. The World Health Organization WHO, Global Report on Sodium Intake Reduction states that nations must make massive efforts to get people to consume less salt which can lower their risk of developing cancer, heart disease, and stroke. The WHO remarked in its first-of-its-kind global report on sodium intake reduction that the world is falling short of its global target of reducing sodium intake by 30% by 2025. For the first time, a sodium country score is assigned to each member state based on the level of implementation of sodium reduction policies and other measures, ranging from 1, the lowest level, to 4, the highest level. As per the report, India's sodium intake is about 9.8 g salt day and its sodium country score was 2. Indonesia is relocating its capital from Jakarta to the island of Borneo. Indonesia is set to move its capital from Jakarta to Borneo over environmental issues such as overcrowding, seawater submersion, and the risk of earthquakes. The city is expected to be inaugurated on 17 August next year, coinciding with Indonesia's Independence Day. Indonesia's parliament has approved the relocation of its capital from slowly sinking Jakarta to a site 2,000 kilometers away in the forested Borneo Island, which will be named Nusantara. Jakarta, home to 10 million people, is said to be the world's fastest sinking city and is projected to be completely submerged by 2050. Apart from this, the main reason is uncontrolled groundwater extraction. Although it is not just water issues, the air is also heavily polluted. Colombia introduces military service for women for the first time in 25 years. Colombia has allowed women to join the military for the first time in 25 years. Last month, 1,296 women were recruited into the Colombian army. Colombia has long had compulsory military service for males aged 18 to 24. The authorities have allowed women in the same age group to voluntarily join the army this year. The world's leading travel trade show ITB Berlin 2023 held from March ke saath se 9 ITB Berlin 2023 held in Germany on March ke saath se 9 2023 with the slogan Open for Change. The official host country of ITB Berlin 2023 is Georgia. ITB Berlin 2023 is considered to be one of the largest annual trade fairs for the tourism industry sector. City Gate Tourism Awards 2023 feat in the category TV Cinema Commercials International and Country at ITB Berlin 2023. Bilateral PM Modi his Australian counterpart Anthony Albanese inaugurated the Friendship Hall of Fame in Ahmedabad. PM Modi and his Australian counterpart Anthony Albanese inaugurated the Friendship Hall of Fame at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad.
This event has been organized to mark the 75 years of cricket friendship between India and Australia. Anthony Albanese announced the launch of a new scholarship named Methvi for Indian students to study in Australia for four years. He also announced that Australia's Deakin University would set up an international campus at Gift City in Gandhinagar. India and the US agreed to form a semiconductor subcommittee. Recently, India and the US agreed to form a semiconductor subcommittee during the relaunched IndiaU.S. Commercial Dialogue In 2021, the Metwai launched the design-linked incentive, DLI, scheme to nurture at least these domestic companies involved in semiconductor design. India has also launched the scheme for promotion of manufacturing of electronic components and semiconductors, specs, for manufacturing electronic components and semiconductors. India announced an outlay of 76,000 rupees crore, around $10 billion, under the PLI scheme for the development of a semiconductor and display manufacturing electronics ecosystem. Mo. Bell signs Mo with Nick Suratkal in RD Space Bharat Electronics Limited. Bell, Navratna Defence Public Sector Undertaking, PSU, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding. Mo with the Mangalore, Karnataka, based National Institute of Technology Karnataka, Nick Suratkal, formerly known as Karnataka Regional Engineering College, for cooperation in research and development, RD, for the development of Applications MRPL signs Master Research Alliance Agreement with IICT Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited MRPL an Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, IICT, a Council of Scientific and Industrial Research Lab under the Ministry of Science and Technology, MOST, entered into a Master Research Alliance Agreement for Collaborative Research at Hyderabad, Telangana. According to the agreement, MRPL and IICT will collaborate on a number of research and development projects in fields like the valorization of low-value refinery streams and Kodo capture. NCW ties up with Netflix The National Commission for Women, NCW, collaborates with one of the world's leading entertainment portals, Netflix. The two panel discussions were organized where renowned figures from various industries, NGOs, female actors as well as directors gathered. ONGC signs more with France's Total Energies for Deep Water Exploration. All and Natural Gas Corp, ONGC, signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MO, with French major Total Energies for the exploration of deep water blocks. This MO will provide technical help to ONGC to explore and reduce greenhouse emissions in the development of deep water blocks especially in Mahandi and Andamans of India's east coast. AIMS signs MO with Mauritius PSC to assist in conducting examinations. The All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AIMS, Delhi, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MO, with the Public Service Commission, PSC of Mauritius to assist in conducting examinations. Since AIMS has experience in conducting various entrance, exit and recruitmental examinations on a large scale, the PSC Mauritius approached the examination section of AIMS for assistance in conducting its, ex its examinations for dentists and medical and health surgeons. Uttarakhand Gov approves 10% horizontal reservation for statehood activists. The government of Uttarakhand has approved a 10% horizontal reservation for statehood campaigners in state government positions. Under the direction of Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami, the decision was made during a cabinet meeting held in Bharari Sen. The proposal to raise the MLA Local Area Development Fund from 3 crore 75 lakh to 5 crore annually also received agreement from the Cabinet.
The cabinet also increased the grant given for the beautification of temples from 25 lakh rupees to 50 lakh rupees and increased the financial help given to Mahila Mangal Dal from 25 lakh rupees to 40 lakh rupees, respectively. Nitin Gadkari unveils first ever methanolron buses in Bangalore. Union Road and Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari unveiled Bangalore's first methanolron buses on 12 March 2023. The project aims to reduce the emission levels and is being implemented by Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation, BMTC, Niti Ayog, Indian Oil Corporation, IOC, and Ashok Leyland. A prototype of the M100, 100% methanol, truck was also unveiled at the event. Uttarakhand becomes first state in India to start insurance scheme for silk grower state agriculture minister Ganesh Joshi said that Uttarakhand has launched the country's first silkworm insurance program to protect its silk growers. The initiative is being taken jointly by the agriculture department and the Agriculture Insurance Company of India Ashok Leyland unveils all-women production line at Tamil Nadu plant. Indian commercial vehicle manufacturer Ashok Leyland has launched an all-women production line with 100% female employees at its Hosur plant in Tamil Nadu. The initiative to introduce an all-women production line is to promote women empowerment and encourage them take up roles in manufacturing industry. Expressway Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the much-awaited Bangalore-Mysore Expressway in Mandya district. He dedicated this 119-kilometer fully controlled road to the nation. It has been constructed at a cost of 8,480 rupee crore under the flagship program of the Government of India called Bharat Mala Pariyojana, BMP. National Highway 275, NH 275, known as the Bangalore Mysore Expressway. The Bharat Mala project is being run by the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways from the year 2017 to 2018. Under the first phase of the ambitious Bharat Mala project of the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, 34,800 kilometers of national highways will be constructed at a cost of 5,35,000 rupee crore. Maharashtra most attractive investment destination, says 2022-1923 Economic Survey. Amid controversy over industrial projects slipping to neighboring Gujarat, the Economic Survey of 2022-1923 revealed that Maharashtra approved investment. Proposals worth 3,57,393 rupee crore, which is highest among states in the country in the past three years. The state also approved the highest number of investment proposals, 780, according to the survey. However, when it comes to foreign direct investment, FDI, Karnataka is in top position. Kochi Metro becomes India's first metro to accept digital currency for parking. Kochi Metro Rail Limited, KMRL, has become the 8 cent metro in India to accept the Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDC, issued by the Reserve Bank of India, RBI. This service will initially be available at the parking lot adjacent to Thaikudam Metro Station. This facility will be extended to other station parking lots. Mumbai, Maharashtra, based IDFC First Bank has partnered with Anantam Online, a technology startup with a focus on digital parking, to enable the acceptance of the digital rupee at Kochi Metro's parking locations. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath launched a ticket booking and passenger feedback mobile application, UP Rahi, which will let the passengers book their bus tickets, make digital payments, and give their feedback on the journey. 42 lakh essays on Assam war hero Lachit Borfukan enter Guinness World Record. The compilation of over 42 lakh essays on the brave Ahom General Lachit Borfukan has been recognized by Guinness World Records as the largest online photo album of handwritten notes. 
Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma received a certificate for the Guinness World Record for the maximum number of essays written on a single person. About Lachit Bor Fukan He was born on 24th November 1622 in Charaideo, the first capital of the Ahom kings. He effectively led his army in the Battle of Saraighat in 1671, which defeated the Mughal army's attempt to capture Assam. He also fought the Battle of Alboi on 5th August 1669 in the Alboi Hills near Dadra in North Guwahati. Two tigers reintroduced in Madhya Pradesh Madhav National Park after 27 years the reintroduction took place after 27 years and marked the an birth anniversary of former Union Minister Madhavrao Sindhya. A tiger and tigress were reintroduced in the Madhav National Park MNP In Madhya Pradesh Shivpuri district Arogya Mahila Telangana launched new health program for women on the occasion of International Women's Day 2023 8th at March 2023 T Harish Rao Telangana Health Minister launched Arogya Maha a new health program for women in Telangana Under the program tests would be conducted for women every tuesday initially in 100 health centers and medicines provided to them free of cost banking finance pfizer is spending about 43 dollar billion to acquire segen to reach deeper into new cancer treatments that target tumor cells while sparing surrounding healthy tissue The pharmaceutical giant said it will pay $229 in cash for each share of Segen Incorporated Pfizer then plans to let the biotech drug developer continue innovating except with more resources than it would have alone Pfizer chairman and CEO Albert Boyla told RBI accords Infra Finance Company status to Irena The Reserve Bank of India RBI granted an infrastructure finance company IFC status to Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency IRADA a company statement said It was earlier classified as an investment and credit company ICC With the IFC status IRADA will be able to take higher exposure in refinancing The IFC status will also help the company to access a wider investor base for fund mobilization resulting in competitive rates for fundraising Shriram General Insurance opens to women only branches in the north Private non-life insurer Shriram General Insurance Company STIC has set up to women only branches in Ludhiana Punjab and Jaipur Rajasthan in the first such initiative in the industry IDFC Mutual Fund rebrands itself as Bandhan MF unveils new logo IDFC MF was earlier a part of the IDFC group and was acquired by a Bandhan Financial Holdings led consortium in April 2022 About IDFC Mutual Fund headquarters Mumbai Maharashtra India CEO Vishal Kapoor America's largest Silicon Valley bank closed due to financial institutional failure In the biggest financial institutional failure in the US, the country's largest Silicon Valley bank has been closed. This is the biggest institutional financial crisis in the US since the 2008 financial crisis. This bank was established in the year 1983 by Bill Biggerstaff and Robert Medris. Silicon Valley Bank was the 16th largest bank in the country. It was planning to raise more than 2 dollar billion in funds to fill a gap in its balance sheet. This caused widespread panic among its customers and depositors and triggered massive selling. Central banks of Israel, Norway and Sweden model hub for digital currency payments. Project Icebreaker, a joint initiative from the Bank for International Settlements, BIS and the Central Banks of Israel, Norway. and Sweden has successfully concluded a study on the potential benefits and challenges of using retail central bank digital currencies CBDC in international payments the project tested the technical feasibility of conducting cross border 
and cross currency transactions in a hub and spoke model between different experimental retail CBDC systems. About Biz, Headquarters, Basel, Switzerland, Membership, 63 Central Banks. Bank of Baroda Board approves Unchas percent stake divestment in BFSL. The Board of Directors of Bank of Baroda, Bob, a public sector bank, has approved the divestment of up to Unchas percent stake in its wholly owned subsidiary, Bob Financial Solutions Ltd, BFSL, formerly known as Bob Cards Ltd. PNB MetLife introduces genius plan to help parents in supporting children's future PNB MetLife India Insurance Company Limited PNB MetLife one of India's leading life insurance firms has introduced the PNB MetLife genius plan a new solution to help parents financially prepare for their children's future SEBI announces reward mechanism for informants providing tips on defaulters the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, in exercise of its powers conferred under Section 11, 8 of SEBI Act, Unni So Banwe issued SEBI, Grant of Reward to Informant under Recovery Proceedings, Guidelines, 2023 feet W.E.F. 8 March 2023 Credible information tips about the assets of defaulters under recovery proceedings WEF. 8 March 2023 Money Laundering Act 2002 will apply to the trading of cryptocurrency or virtual assets. The central government has said that the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 will apply to trading in cryptocurrency or virtual assets. The notification said. 1. Exchange between virtual digital assets and fiat currencies. 2. Exchange between one or more forms of virtual digital assets. 3. Transfer of virtual digital assets, safekeeping or administration of virtual digital assets or instruments enabling control over virtual digital assets and participation in end. 4. Provision of financial services related to an issuer's offer and sale of a virtual digital asset All of the above will now be covered by the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, 2002. Despite having no regulatory framework for crypto, the Indian government had introduced a new tax regime last year, taxing crypto income at 30% and a 8% tax deducted at source, TDS, on crypto transactions. Prevention of Money Laundering Act, PMLA, 2002 It was enacted in January 2003 and the act along with the rules framed thereunder has come into force with effect from 8 cent July 2005. PNB signs more with Central Warehousing Corporation, CWC, to facilitate farmers' financing. Punjab National Bank, PNB, and Central Warehousing Corporation, CWC, Sign the Memorandum of Understanding, MO, to facilitate financing under NWR, Electronic Negotiable Warehousing Receipt. The main objective of this partnership is to provide easy finance to farmers, processors and traders against the pledge of agricultural produce stored in Central Warehousing Corporation, CWC, Godowns. Reserve Bank of India, RBI Initiates 75 Digital Villages Program The RBI has launched a program to adopt 75 villages and convert them into digital payment-enabled villages. Under this, payment system operators, PSOs, will adopt villages across the country and conduct to camps with an aim to improve awareness and onboard merchants for digital payments. The launch of Her Payment Digital Mission was also done during the Digital Payments Awareness Week 2023. CUB launches the CUB Visa Signature Credit Card in partnership with 42 Card Solutions. City Union Bank, CUB, a private sector lender, has announced the launch of its first ever credit card service, Dadhi CUB Visa Signature Credit Card, in collaboration with Bayali's Card Solutions PVT LTD a provider of credit card management services. The credit cards were initially issued to CUB employees as a trial run, 
and the bank intends to have roughly 30,000 active cards by the end of March. Paytm signs more with Andhra Pradesh government to promote financial inclusion. Digital financial services firm 197 Communications, which owns the Paytm brand, signed a memorandum of understanding, more with the Andhra Pradesh, AP, government to promote mutual cooperation and financial inclusion in the areas of industrial development, financial inclusion, public health, cyber security, and prevention of financial frauds in AP. It was inked on the sidelines of the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit 2023 in Vishakhapatnam, AP. Kotak MF launches digital campaign to celebrate International Women's Day. Kotak Mahindra Asset Management Company, Kotak Mutual Fund, has launched a digital campaign called Digital Il, Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality, which calls for digital inclusion of all with the hashtag InclusionAll. Access Bank partners with ITC to offer rural lending products. Access Bank has joined hands with FMCG giant ITC to offer lending products and services to farmers who are a part of ITC's agriculture ecosystem. Under the tie-up, the bank will leverage ITMAS, Meta Market for Advanced Agricultural Rural Services, a full-stack agritech application for reaching out to the farmers and addressing their financial requirements. Awards Recognitions Tamil writer Sivasankari gets selected for Saraswati Saman. Tamil writer Sivasankari has been selected for Saraswati Saman for 2022 for her book Survyavamsham. It is a book of memoirs in Tamil language and was published in 2019. Saraswati Saman instituted by the KK. Birla Foundation in Unniso Ikyanve is recognized as the most prestigious and the highest literary award in the country. It carries an award money of 15 lakh rupees, a citation and a plaque. INS Dronacharya receives President's Curtain Razor Award. INS Dronacharya of the Indian Navy being awarded the prestigious President's Color by the Hobieli President of India SMT Draupadi Murmu on 16 March 2023. The President's Color is considered the highest honour that the Supreme Commander of India confers on a unit for its exceptional service to the nation. Gyanj Durvedi to be awarded Vyasaman 2022 for Paglakhana. Noted Hindi writer Dia Gyanj Turvedi's 2018 satirical novel, Pagla Khana, has been selected for the 32nd Vyasaman, 2022. Instituted by the KK Birla Foundation in Unniso Ikyanve, the annual Vyasaman is given to an outstanding Hindi literary work by an Indian citizen published during the last 10 years. Oscars 2023 Full Winner List the 95th Academy Awards, Oscars Awards 2023, are finally announced. The Oscars Awards 2023 held on March 13 IST in Los Angeles Dolby Theatre. It was hosted by popular late-night show host Jimmy Kimmel. Oscars Awards 2023 India nominations At the 95th Academy Awards, Oscars Awards 2023, RRR's song Natu Natu took home the Best Original Song Oscar. Rahul Sipliganj and Kala Bhairava provided the vocals for the song, which was composed by M.M. Kiravani and released in March with words and music by Chandra Bose. In addition to Priyanka Chopra and Persis Khambatta, Deepika is the third Indian to present at the Oscars. The Elephant Whisperers made history by becoming the first Indian documentary to win an Oscar. Category Winners Oscars Awards 2023 Best Picture Everything Everywhere All at Once Oscars Awards 2023 Best Actress Michelle Yeo, Everything Everywhere All at Once Oscars Awards 2023 Best Actor Brendan Fraser, The Whale Oscars Awards 2023 Best Director Everywhere All at Once
Daniel Kwan and Daniel Skeenert, Everything. Oscars Awards 2023 Best Film Editing. Everything Everywhere All at Once. Oscars Awards 2023 Best Original Song. Natu Natu RRR. Oscars Awards 2023 Best of the, the Way of Water. Oscars Awards 2023 Best Animated Feature Film Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio Oscars Awards 2023 Best Actress in a Supporting Role Jamie Lee Curtis in Everything Everywhere All at Once Oscars Awards 2023 Best Actor in a Supporting Role Kehui Kwan in Everything Everywhere All at Once Oscars Awards 2023 Best Documentary Feature Film Miller and Shane Boris Navalny by Daniel Rohar, Odessa Rai, Diane Becker, Malani Oscars Awards 2023 Best Cinematography All Quiet on the Western Front by James Friend Oscars Awards 2023 Best International Feature Film All Quiet on the Western Front Germany Oscars Awards 2023 Best Documentary Short Film The Elephant Whisperers by Kartiki Gonsalves and Gunit Monga Oscars Awards 2023 Best Animated Short Film The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse Oscars Awards 2023 Best Original Score All Quiet on the Western Front Oscars Awards 2023 Best Production Design All Quiet on the Western Front Shonak sends all that breeds loses out to Navalny Indian Climate Change Documentary All That Breeds Could Not Register a Win at the 95th edition of the Academy Awards, losing out to Daniel Rohar's Navalny Filmmaker Shama Prasad bags Kerala's prestigious Television Lifetime Achievement Award veteran filmmaker and TV professional, Shama Prasad has bagged the Kerala government's highest visual media award Television Lifetime Achievement Award. The national award-winning filmmaker, Shama Prasad is one of the notable directors in Mollywood. Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabandhan Puraskar The PM felicitated awardees of the Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabandhan Puraskar during the teen RD session of the National Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction, NPDRR. Awardees for the year 2023 Odisha State Disaster Management Authority, OSDMA, Lungle Fire Station, Mizoram Norway's Sakro Freedom Award recently, Truth Hounds, which documents war crimes in the Ukraine conflict was. Named after Soviet scientist and dissident Andrei Sakharov, Union Moes Dr. L. Murugan presents National Photography Awards. The Union Minister of State for Information Broadcasting, Dr. L. Murugan presented the 8th National Photography Awards. Winners list of the 8th National Photography Awards Lifetime Achievement Award MS Sipra Das Professional Photographer of the Year Award Shri Sisi Kumar Ramachandran Sir David Chipperfield selected as the 2023 Laureate of the Pritzker Architecture Prize Civic Architect, Urban Planner and Activist, Sir David Allen Chipperfield has been selected as the 2023 Laureate of the Pritzker Architecture Prize, the award that is regarded internationally as architecture's highest honour. Appointments Resignations Tim Mayopolos, Tim Mayopolos, the former CEO of Fannie Mae, was appointed by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, to lead Silicon. Amitav Mukherjee, Amitav Mukherjee, NMDC Director, Finance, has been given the additional responsibility of Chairman Ka Managing Director. Li Qiang Li Qiang was appointed as the new Premier or Prime Minister of China by the Chinese Parliament on 11 March 2023. Li Keqiang, who had held the position for the past 10 years, was replaced by Li Qiang.
Two Indian American CEOs are appointed by Joe Biden to the advisory committee. US President Joe Biden proposed to Indian Americans for appointment to the advisory committee on trade policy and negotiations. Flex CEO Revthi Advaiti and Natural Resources Defense Council CEO Manish Bapna were both appointed as members of the committee. Shreya Godavad appointed Indian ambassador for she changes climate climate entrepreneur Shreya Godavad has been appointed as India's ambassador for she changes climate on 13th March 2023 The initiative aims to amplify the voices of women about the effects of climate change Mohit Joshi Tech Mahindra named former Infosys president Mohit Joshi as MD and CEO Salhaonio Cruz Salhaonio Cruz made history on March 7 by becoming Nagaland's first woman minister. She and Hekani Jaklu were elected as the first women MLAs of the state. Both represent the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party NDPP. 11 Jinping Chinese leader Xi Jinping, National People's Congress, has formally secured an unprecedented third term as the president of China. Ram Chandra Podol Ram Chandra Podol of Nepali Congress has been elected as the new president of Nepal Rohit Jawa Rohit Jawa was appointed as the new managing director and chief executive officer of the famous fast moving consumer goods FMCG company Hindustan Unilever Limited HUL company Manik Saha senior BJP leader Dhyamnik Saha sworn in as chief minister of Tripura for second consecutive term Satish Kaushik famous actor and filmmaker Satish Kaushik 66 passed away on 9th March 2023 in Gurugram due to a heart attack Kaushik who made his directorial debut with Roop ki Rani Choro ka Raja has directed films like Hum aapke dil mein rehte hain Hamara dil aapke paas hai बधाई हो बधाई तेरे नाम एंड मुझे कुछ कहना है कोनरद संगमा नेशनल पीपल्स पार्टी एनपीपी प्रेसिडेंट कोनरद के सैनमावा स्वोन इन एज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मेघालय फॉर द सेकंड कंजिक्यूटिव टर्म आर्टिकल 164 ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोवाइड्स दैट द चीफ मिनिस्टर विल बी अपॉइंटेड बाय द गवर्नर शेख अहमद नवाफ अल सबा The Kuwaiti Amiri has reappointed Sheikh Ahmed Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Sabah as Prime Minister and assigned him to nominate members of the new government. Georgina Bear, New Zealand's Georgina Bear, who was the world's first openly transgender member of parliament, MP, passed away in hospice care at 65. Arun Subramanian Indian American Arun Subramanian has been appointed as the first South Asian district judge in the Manhattan Federal District Court for the Southern District of New York on 7th March 2023. Sports. Novak Djokovic has withdrawn from the Indian Wells event in California. Novak Djokovic has withdrawn from the Indian Wells event in California after being unable to secure an exemption in order to enter the US and compete in the first Masters 1000 tournament of the season. He will be replaced by Nikolos Basilashvili. Ekta Bhayam qualifies for World Para Athletics Championships. Ekta Bhayam qualified for the World Para Athletics Championships as the Indian team returned home with seven medals from the Dubai World Para Athletics Grand Prix. In the medal standings, China finished on top with 102 medals that included 40 to gold, followed by Ukraine, 11 gold, and Uzbekistan, 9 gold. India finished in a thais eighth place. Anupamara Machandran wins women's snooker world cup India's Anupamara Machandran won the under 21 title in the world women's snooker championships with a 79 to 13 6163 31 to 76 83 to 55 53 to 40 to victory over Plochum Pulau Kiat Phong of Thailand in the final Women's snooker world cup is being held in Bangkok Thailand Rest of India beat Madhya Pradesh to win Irani Cup Rest of India team has captured the Irani Cup for the 25th time dot day defeated Madhya Pradesh by 238 runs in the final
Yashasvi Jaiswal, who scored a century in both innings against Madhya Pradesh, was given the player of the match award. Sportsmen to organize Khelo India Duska Dam Tournament in 10 Cities Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports is set to organize the Khelo India Duska Dam event from March to 31, 2023. It is being conducted as a celebration for the International Women's Day 2023. Hockey India to launch nationwide scheme to unearth talent. Hockey India Hi, announced a new and ambitious grassroots development program to unearth talent and improve the bench strength of the national senior and junior teams for men and women. Under the initiative, Hi will hold zonal championships at the sub-junior, U16, and junior, U19, levels to unearth talent from the four zones North, South, East and West. The first interzonal tournament will begin on March with 30 state teams expected to participate. Science Technology Saudi Space Commission holds discussions with ISRO A high-level delegation from the Saudi Space Commission, led by CEO Dr. Mohammad Saud Altamimi, recently visited India from March to 10 to hold discussions on space cooperation. During the visit, Dr. Altamimi met with S. Somanath, chairman of ISRO, and visited the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Thiruvananthapuram and the UR Rao Satellite Center, Bangalore. About Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, Establishment 1969, by Vikram Sarabhai. Headquarters Bangalore IIT Roorkee researchers discover new antibacterial molecule IITR00693 against superbug. Researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, Roorkee have discovered a new antibacterial small molecule, IITR00693, that can help fight drug-resistant infections. The molecule, discovered after a rigorous screening process, has shown potent antibacterial activity against a wide range of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, including some of the most problematic drug-resistant strains. NASA hands over NISAR satellite to ISRO the U.S. Space Agency National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, has handed over the Earth Observation Satellite, NASA ISRO SAR, NISAR, to Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO at Bangalore, Karnataka. A US Air Force C-17 aircraft carrying the NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar, NISAR, has landed in Bangalore. SAR stands for Synthetic Aperture Radar Technique, responsible for producing high-resolution images from a resolution-limited radar system that NASA has used to measure changes in Earth's surface. Pradesh, AP Sophia makes first detection of oxygen-18 in mesosphere and lower thermosphere of Earth. For the first time, oxygen-18 was detected in Earth's mesosphere and lower thermosphere using the data collected by the GREAT instrument on NASA Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, Sophia. What is oxygen-18 detected by Sophia? It is a stable isotope of oxygen. It has 8 protons and 10 neutrons. O2 has 8 protons and 8 neutrons. In the Arctic and Antarctic, oxygen-18 is used to determine temperature and at what temperature ice forms in these regions. What is SOFIA? The Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA was a telescope mounted on a Boeing 747 SP aircraft that used infrared light to observe the universe. ESA has recently proposed the need for a lunar time zone. The European Space Agency, ESA, has recently proposed the need for a lunar time zone. It has called for an international coordination and consensus to establish it. Moon Time Zone has been proposed for establishing a universal timekeeping system that will simplify communication and coordination among different lunar missions. ISRO recently released the Landslide Atlas of India. 
ISRO's National Remote Sensing Center created a database of landslide prone regions of India based on events during 1998 to 2022. Mizoram topped the list, recording 12,385 landslide events in the past 25 years, of which 8,926 were recorded in 2017 alone. Mizoram is followed by Uttarakhand, 11,219, and Kerala. Rudraprayag, 1st, and Tehri Garhwal districts, 2nd, of Uttarakhand have the highest landslide density and landslide risk exposure in the country. Reliance Life Sciences receives a gene therapy technology license from IIT Kanpur. Reliance Life Sciences PVT LTD has received a license from the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur for a gene therapy method that has the potential to treat a variety of genetic eye ailments. Reliance Life Sciences will further develop the gene treatment technology from IIT Kanpur into a native product. The science of molecular medicine has recently seen the emergence of gene therapy employing viral vectors as a powerful tool. ISRO successfully carries out controlled re-entry experiment of Metricton-1 satellite. Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, successfully carried out an extremely challenging controlled re-entry experiment of the decommissioned orbiting Megatropics-1, Metricton-1, satellite in an uninhabited area in the Pacific Ocean between 5 degrees south, s, to 14 s latitude and 119 degrees west, w, to x or w longitude. It was carried out from the Mission Operations Complex in ISTRAC, ISRO Telemetry, Tracking and Command Network, Bangalore, Karnataka. This low-Earth satellite, weighing about 8,000 kg, was launched on 12 October 2011 as a joint satellite venture of ISRO and the French Space Agency, CNES for Tropical Weather and Climate Studies. Its mission life was to three years, but continued to provide valuable data services for more than a decade supporting regional and global climate models till 2021. However, since August 2022, the satellite's perigee was progressively lowered through a series of 20 maneuvers, spending about 120 kilograms of fuel. Defense Indigenous very short-range air defense missile systems tested twice. DRDO conducted two consecutive successful flight tests of very short-range air defense, Washerad, missiles at the integrated test range, Chandipur, off the coast of Odisha on 13 March 2023. In another development, the maiden flight test of the power takeoff PTO shaft was successfully conducted on light combat aircraft LCA Tejas Limited Series Production LSP teen aircraft in Bangalore. Center signs now saw Chautis Rupai crore deal with HSL to refit in Sindhukirti submarine in Vishakhapatnam. In a further boost to achieve Atmanirbhar Bharat, the Ministry of Defence on 13 March 2023 signed a contract for general refit of Sindhukirti submarine at Hindustan Shipyard Limited, HSL, Vishakhapatnam at a total cost of 934 rupees crore. Sindhukirti is the third kilo-class diesel-electric submarine. Hindustan Shipyard Limited, HSL, is the country's first shipbuilding yard. Third multilateral maritime exercise La Perouse held in the Indian Ocean region. The third edition of multilateral exercise La Perouse has been conducted from 13 to 14 March 2023 in the Indian Ocean region. This edition saw the participation of personnel, ships and integral helicopters from the United States Navy, Royal Australian Navy, French Navy, Indian Navy and Japanese Navy. The biennial exercise La Perouse is conducted by the French Navy and aims to enhance maritime domain awareness and optimize maritime coordination among the participating navies in the Indo-Pacific region. 
joint exercise bol kurukshetra of india and singapore concluded in jodhpur singapore army and indian army conducted the 13th edition of bilateral bol kurukshetra from march 2023 2023 at jodhpur military station india maritime partnership exercise mpx with french navy indian navy's indigenously built guided missile frigate in sahyadra participated in the maritime partnership exercise mpx with french navy afn ships in the arabian sea from 10 se 11 march 2023 colonel gitarana became the first woman officer to command a field workshop colonel gitarana of the indian army scopes of electronics and mechanical engineers has become the first woman officer of the indian army to command a field workshop on the forward front in eastern dak shalija dhami becomes first woman officer to command a fighter unit in if the indian air force if has announced on 8th march 2023 that group captain shalija dhami will take over the command of the missile squadron in the western sector Ms Dhami has become the first Indian woman officer to achieve this. Dhami is the second deployment after Captain Shiva Chauhan of the Fire and Fury Corps of the Indian Army. Shiva Chauhan is currently the first woman officer to be operationally posted in Siachen. In another achievement, Major Abhilasha Barakas become the first woman officer to join the Army Aviation Corps as a combat aviator after completing her training. Navy gets first ever made in India fuse for underwater anti-submarine rockets. The Indian Navy has received a fully indigenized fuse for an anti-submarine warfare ASW underwater rocket manufactured for the first time by a private Indian industry. The Indian Navy received for the first time a fully indigenized fuse YDB SAT for underwater anti-submarine warfare ASW rocket RGB SAT used from major warships through a private manufacturer MS Economic Explosives Limited Eel Nagpur Army installs tallest iconic national flag in Hilly Dora district JK in JK The Indian Army installed the tallest iconic national flag in the Hilly Dora district on 9th March 2023. The tricolor has been installed on a 100 feet high pole, the highest tricolor in the Dora district. Rank. According to Sipri report, India is the world's largest arms importer during 2018 to 2022. According to the report released by the Global Organization Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, Sipri India has emerged as the world's largest arms importer due to not being self-sufficient in the production of arms and defense equipment. India remained the world's largest arms importer for the 5-year period between years 2018 to 2022. Although its arms imports declined by 11% between 2013 to 2017 and 2018 to 2022. Russia was the largest supplier of arms to India in both 2013 to 2017 and 2018 to 2022. According to the report, India's import of arms and defense equipment has seen an increase of up to 24% in the last 5 years. According to the Swiss firm IQA report, India is the eighth most polluted country in the world. The World Air Quality Report 2020 to by Swiss company IQA reviews the state of air quality around the world. The report presents PM2.5 air quality data from 131 countries and 7323 cities. According to the Global Air Quality Study published by IQA, India is set to drop from the fifth most polluted country in the world to the eighth in 2022. According to the World Health Organization (WHO) guidelines, The annual average PM2.5 level should be 5 GM3 or less but India's annual average PM2.5 level in 2022 was 53.3 GM3 which was 10 times more than the safe limit and only slightly below the 2021 average of 58.1 
Bhivari in Rajasthan was the most polluted city in India. Most polluted countries in the world, 1 Chad, 2 Iraq, 3 Pakistan, 4 Bahrain, 5 Bangladesh. City Index 2023, India has 5th highest number of women billionaires. India is tied for 5th position with Australia and Hong Kong, with each country having 9 females billionaires. The US leads the list with total of 92 female billionaires, second place China with 46. Savitri Jindal, an Indian politician and businesswoman, is the richest woman in India with a family fortune of US dollar Sola Dashamlav Notch Hair Billion. India ranks 108th on Electoral Democracy Index 2023 India ranks 108th in the Electoral Democracy Index of the Vidam Democracy Report 2023. Country ranks way below countries such as Tanzania, Bolivia, Mexico, Singapore and Nigeria. Denmark ranked first with the highest comprehensive score of 0.89 in the LDI. Miscellaneous First woman loco pilot operates new semi-high-speed van Bharat train. Surekh Hayadav, Asia's first woman loco pilot, has become the first female to operate the newly introduced semi-high-speed Vande Bharat Express train in March. Ms. Yadav piloted the Vande Bharat Express train between Solapur Station and Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus, CSMT in Mumbai on 13 March 2023. In 1988, she became India's first female train driver. Red Tide on the Coast of Florida Red Tide has recently occurred on the coast of Florida. It generally disappears by spring. It has been found since the 1800s in the Gulf of Mexico. The ocean plants living in the sea grow uncontrollably and cause a bloom. The bloom caused by red-colored algae is called red tide. Red tide is caused by a toxic algae species known as Carine brevis. Astronomers at European Southern Observatory Avenue detected gaseous water in the planet-forming disk around the star V883 Orionis. Astronomers have